What's good? Trav from WeGotBeats.com here, and uh, I wanted to go back to this comment, uh, as promised, Piano Fangas. Uh, I'm going to reread this comment if you didn't see the other video. He says, what's up? This is Pistol Grip Beats. Nice video on the New York boom bap type mob deep style. Can you do a video on vocal effects? Can you bust out the microphone and do a video covering voice effects from ver reverb, delay, all the way to auto-tune, Chief Keef, Kendrick, uh, Drake, Chris Brown, Migos, Lamar, you know. Can you cover some vocal VSTs and how to get a unique sound for laying down tracks that would be dope? You need a good voice just like you need a good beat, and you're totally right. Uh, the voice is just another instrument. Um, you know, the, it's just like an instrument in the way that the frequencies are. So, when, for example, when I mix a beat, when I, whenever I mix a beat, I, I don't know when, you know, how your vocal is going to sound on top of it. Everybody has their different types of voice. And that's going to go into this video about the voice inflection. Now, don't worry, I'm going to be covering in uh, later videos from, you know, effects like reverb delay and auto tune i'm gonna be doing that i'm working on some stuff right now just be patient but i thought i could do this one right now um just to get it out of the way and it i'm not gonna say it's easy it's not easy you're gonna have to do a lot of the hard work but i'm gonna try to put you in the right direction as far as uh where you need to go and where you need to be so what we're talking about right now or what you're talking about piano fingers is voice inflection all right, voice inflection, if you type it into Google, this is the definition. It says, inflection has two meanings. It can sometimes mean an uh, annotation. As dictionary.com shows, modulation of the voice, change in pitch or tone of voice. Uh, however, Wikipedia defines it exclusively as the form of word and not the sound. But we're talking about the modulation of the voice change in pitch and tone of the voice okay so when you're talking about getting getting a um, unique sound all right that's where you really need to start and really where you need to start is just like in my other videos while I was talking about was you need to have your your marketing message in place you need to know exactly what you stand for what you stand against who your fan base is, who are you going to appeal to most, okay? And that's going, just by you doing that, that's going to put you in the right frame of mind when it comes to developing your own sound, your own style. And that goes into the voice inflection itself. Uh, think about it like this. Uh, you have, um, Ken, you brought up Kendrick Lamar, for, exa for example. The Kendrick Lamar, if I remember his biography right, uh, his family comes from Chicago. You can hear it in in his style. You know some of the Midwestness of it, but he's definitely got that West Coast shit down pat because that's where he's from. That's where he reps is Compton. So when you listen to someone like Kendrick, you you hear a lot of them G funk elements. The way he be pitching his voice, you know, like how you know. Uh, you know, Parliament used to do it. George George Clinton and uh, Bootsy Collins, all them people, how they used to, you know, do crazy shit with their voice. And it's that G-Funk shit that he's bringing back. So that ties into his marketing message. He's showing that he's a good kid, Mad City, talking about Compton. He's from the West Coast. He's just an ordinary good kid from Compton talking about what it's like to live in Compton. All right, so that's his marketing message right there. So he knows... I mean, it's it's no secret. He probably, I mean, this is his environment that he grew up in. So he's he already has that G funk uh, history, P funk history in his background. So that's gonna lead him. That has led him to where he is now, and why he has such a unique style. So you need to think about where you come from, what your marketing message is. Is it, for example, is there any slang around where you live that nobody else uses? For example, around my area, whenever we get shitty weed, you know, like some shitty, shitty, shitty weed, we call that shit huff. That's what we call it. We call it huff. That's our slang for it. All right. So if you have slang for different shit, you know, just like Mob Deep, like you also brought up, you know, the Mob Deep style beat that I made. Um, even though, you know, it wasn't, you know, whatever. That's not, you know, what I'm talking about. But, you know, Mob Steep. Mob Steep. I can't talk right now. I'm talking too fast. Anyway, the Mob Deep, you know, done. 
Nobody was saying that shit until they came in. You know, what's up, Dunny? What up, Dun? You know, that type of shit. So you really need to look and ch- just peep peep your scene. Peep peep your environment. See see what you can grasp out of it. And look at look to yourself for your marketing message. I know I'm not probably giving you what you actually want. All right, but this is what you actually need. All right, this is this is not easy. I'm not. I can't give you this on the silver platter. I can't just give you a style and say this is what you, you know, should rock with. This is how you should sound. I can't do that for you. All right, because that, for one, goes against just what we're doing. Period. As MCs, as producers, as artists, you know, I'm not gonna tell you how to, you know, how your style is supposed to sound. My job as a producer to make sure that the product is quality. So working within your style, I can you know see how it's supposed to sound, where where you want it to sound. So I'm not giving you you know I'm not giving you your style per se. There this is this is work on your part. Your part. You're gonna have to you know put in some leg work, and it's the same thing when you're talking about shit like reverb and delay and auto tune, especially auto tune. All right, T Pain was the one that really popularized auto tune. All right, before that, Share I think Share was the first one to use it on a commercially big song. And when T Pain came out, he had that like vocoder sound. You know, that was auto tune. It sounded like some uh, uh, Roger Troutman, right? So he had his own thing based on effects. All right, and that that goes into vo- vocal inflection voice inflection modulation of the voice his voice was modulated all right his pitch and tone was changed so this is how you can get a unique style a unique sound from what you're already doing you don't want to sound like somebody else no matter how influenced you are by them you do not want to sound like them so you need to look and see okay in my area you know for example, you need to you need to look to your history, I should say. You should look to your history, your background, where you come from. Where where were you born? Where were you raised? How were you raised? All right? And then from there, you can start developing what you need in order to have that unique voice, that unique sound, that marketing message, what you're trying to put out there because you can't just be throwing bullshit out there. We got beats is about for example, we got beats is about quality music, helping artists achieve their dreams in the music industry, bringing back quality hip hop music, and uh, also everybody's royalty. All right, we we're all royals here. All right, so that's our marketing message behind we got beats. You got to find yours so people can identify with it, and that goes into your sound and your style. Like I said, I'm not giving you it on the silver platter. I, this is something I can't do. But what I am doing is I'm giving you golden nuggets that might not have crossed your mind before. Because I I damn sure didn't when I first, you know, started thinking about this shit. Shout out to my mentor, Postman. He's the one that really put this, you know, question into my mind that you really have to think deep about. So these are some golden nuggets that you're going to have to take home with you and do the homework with. I can't give it to you on the silver platter. But what I can tell you is it has a lot to do with vocal inflection. All right. It has a lot to do with and more than just vocal inflection. That's the technical side. The more spiritual metaphysical side is the journey, the path that you've already walked on in your life. And see, that's going to be even deeper than rap itself. Once you figure that out, you know who you are as a person, as a man or as a woman. And that's an important thing for anybody to go through, not just you and your rap career. All right. You as a human being, you're a living human being with real emotions, real feelings, real stories to bring to the table. And you have to look to your background. You don't have to fake it for nobody. If you come from Nebraska on a farm, you don't have to act like you from the hood. Don't do that. Rap like you from the farm. I'm telling you, there's hella country people that love hip hop and would love to hear some shit like that, that identify with you, you know? So all I'm saying is, you need to really look into yourself for your style, all right? I know I'm probably rambling in this, but I'm hoping that I'm providing as many golden nuggets as I possibly can because this is crucial. I mean, I'm not I'm not shitting with you, 
I'm not playing around. This is real life shit right here. If you don't know, know yourself, know your worth. Like Drake said, all right? You got to know yourself, know your worth. That's where you got to start, all right? And you got to know what you're trying to put out there. For example, let, let's get let's let's have a industry of example. Uh, you have Gucci Mane, for example. Yeah. You know, sound like that. I know that's a bad impression, but you know what I'm talking about. He he has it comes from his environment. It comes from his life, who he is as a person. That you couldn't make that sound up if if that's not who you are. That's not something you do. You know what I'm saying? Like for someone like Iggy Azalea, you can tell that's fake. You can tell that's she's hamming it up. So uh, look at someone like Jeezy. Yeah, that's him. You know, that's how, that's him as a person, all right? And that goes, that's his vote, voice inflection. So you need to look at your background, who you are as a person, where you were raised, who you're trying to appeal to, uh, who would most identify with you. Look at your area, where you come from. See what kind of slang y'all use that nobody else, that you've never heard anybody use and use that. Think of a chant nobody else has used and use that. And use it in such a way that nobody has heard it before. Notice, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or, okay, you know, that OJ the Juice Man shit. So, like I said, th I'm not handing this on a silver platter to you, okay? You're going to have to do the homework yourself. You're, I can't save you, all right? I'm a producer, Jim. I'm not a doctor. So, I, I can't save you, all right? I can't give you your style on the silver platter. But what I can do is bless you with these gold nuggets that were passed on to me. So I hope this has really opened your eyes to what you need to do. Because if you don't have this down, you are really behind. You have to do this or start on this journey, this path right now, okay, before you do anything else. Because without this, nobody's going to want to give a fuck about what you got to say. It's as simple as that. Even I can provide you all the dope beats, dope original beats that I can give you. All right. You can shell out as much money as you want for my beats as you want. But if if you sound like somebody out right now, nobody gives a fuck what you got to say. Nobody. I don't care who it is. I ain't going to listen to that shit. You might be talking about some real shit, but I don't give a fuck. I ain't trying to listen to that. He sounds like so and so. So. Like I said, I hope you got some gold nuggets from this. I know I rambled a little bit, but anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video and got the value out of it that I intended it without the whole rambling and shit. But anyway, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to this channel. We got plenty of great videos. Uh, I mean, we got what? Almost 200 videos now. I got almost 200 videos now. Uh, we got plenty of great stuff coming like i said we got the reverb the delay auto tune tutorial we got some shit popping off so you de definitely don't want to miss out on that so you want to hit subscribe if you got any comments on this go ahead and leave a comment below if you have an idea for a video or anything just to show love whatnot leave a comment below all right we'll respond there's a couple comments i still gotta respond to but anyway i will respond personally uh, if you know somebody that would get value out of this video, please, please, please share it with them. This is free stuff. Notice there's no ads on my videos. You know why? Because this is free content. This is goodwill for all of you. I, I truly do want to help you guys. I truly do. Whoever's watching this, all right? I really want to help y'all. But I can't do that and have ads on there, all right? Because I make money off the production and all that stuff. All right. If you want to buy beats from me, that's cool. You can go to wegotbeats.com. We got trapbeats.com. You can download beats there. Shameless plug. But, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to get this content out here. So if you know somebody that would love this and get value out of this video or any of the other videos we posted, go ahead and share it with them. I really want to help as many artists as I can this year. All right. So go ahead and do that. Like I said, go to wegotbeats.com. We got trapbeats.com uh, and download your beats. We got some banging ass beats there. And uh, take care.